Oh yeah. Welcome. So I'm sat down again today for another box set unboxing. And here is the box set in question, still in its outer packaging. I often say when I'm making record and music collecting videos that I'm taking a punt on a certain album or even a certain act. And of course, the meaning is pretty self-explanatory. It's something generally an album I've never heard or I'm maybe going by just one track off an album that tempts me to buy it. But this one truly is a punt in the most purest sense as I've never really listened to anything by this group before. In fact, I didn't really know they existed up until recently. I'd kind of heard the name somewhere, being a fan of electronic and synth music for many years, but just a group who weren't on my radar at all. This is a box set of, I think it's six albums, but we'll be going through them all as we get this open anyway. This is a box set that I bought from Mute Bank, which of course is Mute Records online store. And it just caught my eye in their winter sale. It was reduced from £140 to £99. And I looked elsewhere on the internet and that was as cheap as you can get it. So I thought, why not? This was after I looked at a few clips on YouTube, listened to a little bit of their music and I didn't really need to listen to much to realise that I like this group. And of course, as you know, the group I'm talking about is the Belgian synth pop trio Telex. Now, I'm sure there's some people watching this who will be quite familiar with them. I feel a bit embarrassed that I've never come across their music, at least the best of my remembrance anyway, until when I saw that this box set of theirs was in the Mute Bank Winter Sale. To get a box set of all their studio albums, I soon will be very familiar with them, and the bits I've heard of them so far, I've really enjoyed. So, you know, just listening to a handful of tracks, I thought, yeah, I've got to get that box set before the price goes back up to 140 or whatever the full recommended retail price is. So I will play maybe three clips, assuming the copyright Gestapo doesn't make me remove them. But I will play three Telex clips throughout this video, just for those of you who are like me, know either little or nothing about them, just so that you can hear what I've been listening to lately as I've been waiting for this box set to arrive. I'll also just give you a quick, very quick history of Telex as well. And I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's a Wikipedia article and we could be sat here all day just me reading a Wikipedia page verbatim. But just to briefly summarize, Telex was a Belgian synth pop group formed in 1978 by Marc Moulin, Dan Laxman, and Michelle Moores. They initially um, split up in 2006 and then it looks like they had some sort of reunion in 2009. Um, how many albums did they release? I think it's six, because I think that's how many is in this box. Yeah, six albums between 1979 and 2006. And um, one of the most interesting things, and probably what most people know Telex for, is in 1980, they actually entered the Eurovision Song Contest. And um, they finished 17th out of 19, but they, it was a deliberately kind of banal and ironic Eurovision entry. In fact, the song was called Eurovision. And they do a lot of cover versions. Um, you'll have heard of some of the cover versions that they do, such as Saplan Pour Moi, um, the Plastic Bertrand punk song. Um, they've done a cover of Rock Around the Clock, Bill Haley, of course. Uh, plenty of others as well. We'll probably um, go through some more as we look at the albums. So um, that's just enough basic information. When I was listening to them, they reminded me in a lot of ways of Kraftwerk, and um, I'm a big Kraftwerk fan. I collected all their albums, the German editions where possible, sort of a year, year and a half ago. But there was a real sort of dry sense of humour to Telex's songs and videos. Like I say, a lot of cover versions they've done. And there's an interesting, almost collaborative album as well that's part of this set that I know some members of the vinyl community who are friends of mine are big fans of the people that they collaborated with. We'll get on to it. 
But so again, I've got to be a little bit careful because unboxing stuff here in this corner is never particularly easy. At least this is a lot smaller and lighter than that Rolling Stones in mono set. I've chucked the packaging over there without checking if there's anything else inside. I think it was just the packing slip, you know, the invoice. Right, so this is the Telex box set. Really nice, instant sort of European cartoony vibes to me, this. I don't know what sort of art period it'd be, but like sort of art nouveau. That's not right, is it? That kind of European-y sort of cartoon look from maybe the early 20th century. I don't know. I'm kind of talking crap here, really. Just trying to figure that out. But released on Mute Records, obviously. Hence it being from Mute Bank. And on the back, we've got the rundown of all six albums. I'll put my glasses back on again. Just so I can give you a quick read of anything interesting. So these six albums are called Looking for saint -Tropez. Neurovision, Sex, Ua, Wonderful World, I'm having to look quite carefully because I'm going by the actual sleeves here rather than the track listings that are next to them, Looney Tunes and the album that they recorded in 2006 it would have been, uh, I can't even read that, oh, How Do You Dance? Alright, we'll get into it. Uh, there's a hype sticker there, it would be nice to conserve that but if I can't it doesn't matter. It's all coloured vinyl as well, so it'd be nice just to show you all this stuff as we get this cellophane off. Let's be a little bit careful around the hype sticker there. I think there may be some sort of booklet, you know, as they're offered is in a box set in this as well. Oh, and uh, newly mixed and remastered from the original tapes by Dan Laxman and Michelle Moores. Um, the third member of Telex, and I do apologise, I've forgotten his name already, even though I read it out earlier. Let me just double check. Mark Mulan, he passed away in 2008. Right. This looks like it's just a standard lift your lid off box. There we go, nothing really much to see there. I do like that. I think that's, for me, even though it's pretty simple really, for me that's just one of the nicest designs for something music related I've seen in a long time. It's just the sort of thing that appeals to me and I can't quite explain why. So instantly we've got the albums, um, I did say there probably was a book in here but I'm not actually certain if there is or not. So this is the first one, looks like they're all in chronological order. Looking for Saint Tropez, the debut album, this will be from 1979. Nice inner, presumably a replica of the original inner, although not necessarily because as we know a lot of albums back in the day just had plain inners and some obviously still do. But there we go, so it's, I would say, a pretty much translucent red. This doesn't look very translucent on camera, but it is. I'm really excited to get stuck into all this. Six albums of just kind of dry humoured European, Belgian to be specific synth pop you know a lot like Kraftwerk but with certainly more pop sensibilities and a taste for irony really I think you'd say it's hard to describe really <laughs> On. I'm just having to be a little bit careful here as these are a little bit difficult to grab this way but the next album is Neurovision their second album so this will be the album that has the track Eurovision on it I would have played a clip of that but I've had problems with Eurovision related footage being posted on the channel in the past 
So I've decided to go with different Telex clips in the hope that I won't have to remove any of them. But anything Eurovision related now, because the copyright's owned by, well, the European Broadcasting Authority. And I know how gung-ho they are about people using their footage even though that'll be from like 1980, it'll be from nearly 44 years ago. Ah, uh, now this has got a plain inner, so this indicates to me that originally the inner sleeve was plain. And this one is a solid bright white, lovely stuff. All these albums are available individually at Mute. I don't think the colour versions are, I think it's just standard black vinyl. I might be wrong on that, so it's worth checking mutebank.co.uk if you want to pick any of these up. They've also got a compilation, This Is Telex, which I may end up picking up at some point, just for completeness sake, really. First and foremost, at least, it was this studio album set I wanted. So the third album is the very unsubtly titled Sex. Now then, I think this is the sort of collaborative album, if I'm uh, getting this right. This was actually a collaboration with Sparks. I know there's a few Sparks fans who watch me here on YouTube in the VC. I don't know if they play on any of the tracks, they might do. There's obviously some production notes on the back of the sleeve here. Yeah, the words, all the lyrics for this album were written by Ron and Russell Mile from Sparks. The music was done by Michelle Moores of Telex. And it gives special thanks to Ron and Russell Sparks here. So yeah, it's essentially a Telex album that's been written, at least lyrics-wise. Uh, perhaps no production or anything. Now, you'd have thought they'd feature even if it's only like backing vocals or something, but you thought they'd feature somehow on the album as well. But for all intents and purposes, it's a Telex album written by Sparks. There we go, look. Um, to me, that's a pink disc there. I think it's coming across kind of red on camera, but sat here, it's sort of a translucent pink, this. Very nice, nonetheless. Another one that's in a plain inner. The fourth album is Wonderful World. See, I can't really speak on these because I've heard so little of Telex. But if you're a Telex fan, or if you're at least more familiar with them than I am, which won't be that difficult really, then put in the comments what your favorite tracks are, whether there's any of these albums you particularly like or would recommend to people. Another one with a plain inner there. And this one is Solid Blue. Like this side, me looking at it, it's sort of dark, but then again, it's dark in this room, apart from where I've put extra lighting on, but obviously when I hold it up to camera, it looks um, a little bit lighter, but um, still a fairly sort of darkish blue, really. Standard royal blue, I suppose it would be. Very nice. I am the voice on the telephone. <laughs> penultimate album and I did have a look at the bottom there and there isn't the book I thought there was uh, there isn't I'm thinking about it now I don't actually remember them saying a book will be included I mean you saw it was a brand new and sealed item so that was me misremembering oh now there we go that's familiar so that's where this sort of cartoony image originated from from the back of this Looney Tune sleeve I haven't really talked about any of the tracks on here. Is there anything on here that I recognise? And when I say recognise, it'll be like any of the cover versions. Um, I don't know if there is any cover versions on that one. I think there is on the last one though. Another plain inner. Colours on these are very nice. That was always a kind of slight tipping point to get me to buy this. Not just the reduced price. 
but just the fact that they're all different color discs was nice as well so yeah a sort of see-through yellow here and then last but not least after a gap of quite a few years recording they returned in 2006 with how do you dance yeah this has got at least a few cover versions on it this on the road again is a cover number one song in heaven that was by sparks ironically enough as we know jailhouse rock the elvis classic is also covered on here um and the last track on it track number 10 is called la bamba x whether that's a cover of la bamba i think it is actually so i think i vaguely remember seeing it on youtube when i was doing my telex search not too long ago ah uh, this one does have a proper printed inner and it's translucent green kind of looking rather dark on camera this side the side only i can see is a little bit lighter but then again there is my ring light shining through it but very nice nonetheless and that's all that's in the box say all there's something stuck to the bottom but i believe that's a download code which i won't be using so if i hold it up and show it to someone then uh, if i don't want to make a grab for that and get six telex albums digitally then please do um i was checking to see if i was even holding it in camera shot there yeah you'll need to zoom in obviously um, but there we go so that's the bottom of the box really nice set that I would have liked some reading material because obviously only two of the albums have got anything to read on the inner sleeves. There is some sleeve notes on the back of some of these albums, such as Sex, for instance. Then we've also got a little bit of info on the back of Neurovision as well, of course. For £99, six albums, all remastered newly for this set. Wonderful stuff. I'm really delighted with this and i know i'm going to be discovering some music that i'm going to fall in love with because i'm a big synth pop fan you all know that european electronic music as well is a big passion of mine so this ticks all the boxes for the sort of genres and the stuff that i'm into really so the telex box on a discount from mute bank thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this box set unboxing today I want to give special thanks, as always, to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. I'm going to go now, and it's pretty bloody obvious what I'm going to be doing. Getting cracking into Telex. That's all it's called, the box set. But it's the Studio Albums Collection. For all intents and purposes, I'm going to really enjoy absorbing and discovering this trio of Belgian chaps here. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next box set unboxing and record collecting video. Cheers, everyone. See ya!